in the time before the Titans, before the gods of Olympus, a great battle was waged. The wrath of the primordials. The very beings who forged the Earth. Raged out of control for an eternity. And from this rage, this madness of war, the Furies were brought forth. Neither Titan nor God, mortal nor shade, the Furies were bound to no one. For they were the guardians of honor, the enforcers of punishment, the bane of traitors. When Zeus came to power, he found he had little to fear from the sisters. The Furies sought retribution only for those whom they deemed guilty. The first of these traitors was Aegean the Hecatonchores. When the brute pledged a blood oath to Zeus, only to later betray the king of the gods, the Furies were quick to take action. The sisters relentlessly hunted the Aegean, and upon capturing the creature, tortured him without mercy. For the Furies believed death was too kind for this oathbreaker. The Aegean the Hecatonchores became an example to all. A special symbol for those who might think to break a blood oath with a god. Kratos, the great Spartan general, was finally defeated. Driven mad, tortured and uncertain of his surroundings, the warrior found himself captured like a fly in the web of the fuels. Never. Wrong. You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electo was never one for manners. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching RESPECT! For what you've taken, I owe you that.
how you fare against the Hecatonkeries!
Focusing only on the task ahead, Kratos struggled to remember the weeks prior to his imprisonment. To the time when he set out to break his bond with Ares, the god of war. Your mind is troubled, but your skills are still without equal. Do you have business with me? I do, but this is not the manner to discuss it. I see no other way. You have no reason to trust me, Spartan. I only ask that you try. Your thoughts are not your own, but I can help you. I believe these belong to you. Use these items to still your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. ceased. I see only you. Good. You will need this skill for the path ahead. And what path is that? The path of freedom, Kratos. Freedom? Yes, freedom. Freedom from the Furies who relentlessly hunt you in the name of Ares, and ultimately... Freedom from your bond to the god of war himself. Break an oath with a god. <laughs> of all the minds in question, mine is not the one to worry about. <laughs> you waver from sound mind to illusion in the beat of a heart. Is that any life? For a great warrior. The Furies are near. They cannot know I speak with you. I will draw them away. The truth waits for you in Delphi, Kratos. Seek the Oracle. The offerings will please the Oracle this time. I know it. No, no, my gifts. She must have them all. It will have to be enough.
Master approaches. You! We have given you all you need for success, and yet you still fail us. The statues were to be completed by now. It is a massive task you have set before us, Master. My brothers, they... they need food and rest. You have not been asked to speak! <laughs> and who will be next? <laughs> You! You there! You are now charged with the task of completing the statues. As you wish. We hope your work is better than that of your friend here. We can no longer stand the sight of you. You make us sick. <laughs> Decide if they're worthy at our will. I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although, you must have good reason to seek the Oracle, carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle. That is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you fail to see reason. Remove him. <laughs> Persistence only means his death. Strong, but Caster is unstoppable! You have sealed the Oracle's fate!
I am but an innocent. Alethea. The relic you carry has no effect on me. Then I fear you are beyond aid. Do not worry. The situation before me is clear. I have waited for this day. Your thoughts are clouded and your mind conflicted, warrior. I can feel it. You seek the truth? Yes. So be it. But remember, the truth always comes with a price. Enemies. Innocent. is complete. What's done is done. It cannot be undone. No. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the Shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a fury. And he will play his part in time. <sighs> My time grows short. To be free of the madness that infects you, you must defeat those who hold your bond with the God of War. How can I defeat the Furies when all I see is illusion? Across the sea, the Lantern of Delos keeps the eyes of truth. Delos? Find the eyes, and they will show you the path to freedom. Coward hides himself, Orcos. You know I am one of the Furies who forged your bond. You would have killed me before I could even speak. Then tell me, what has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made me doubt them. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you, why he still needs you. Speak clearly. Oh, Kratos. The god of war has been plotting for years. I was brought forth by the joining of the war god and the Fury Queen. In rage and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. But I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. 
They gave me the task of keeping the Earths. Although my burden was great, I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. But it was you, Kratos. It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. I sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Ares, destroy my enemies! And my life is yours! To make you beholden only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Spill the blood of your enemies. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very... The past is the past, Orgos. The past you now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a few. Kratos looked upon the gem. He realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear. The warrior turned his rage to the remaining Furies and their ultimate defeat. years. When you were just a boy, I saw the signs. Even the loss of your brother did not sway your focus. The tragedy only improved you. You honed your skills. And now, Kratos, you have fulfilled your promise of greatness. You served with honor. You brought glory to us all, and today, you have earned your place among us as the greatest general Sparta has ever known. So, there is something you value more than ambition! to go into the record. Record. Must record. Must record. Uh, you're the Spartan that Orcus talked about, aren't you? Definitely need to get this down. Definitely need to get this down. What do you know of the Oath Keeper? I know he paid for what he's done. <laughs> they say he was the first marked one. But his father didn't like the way he turned out. I know. I was the first man to be put here by the Furies. See? I've been keeping a record! Orcos was born here. Then his mothers, they... They became... They, they used to be fair. Harsh, but fair. Had something to do with Ares, I imagine. The way they treated him. Own son. That is no reason to betray your own. Betrayed his own? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> but he did it because of you. I did not ask for his help. 
<laughs> but you received it nonetheless, didn't you, Spartan? <laughs> this will make a wonderful addition to the record. If neither pleasure of the flesh or glory will return you to us, then there is only one thing left. betray you. Kratos knew he was close. Close to a time when illusion would have no power over him. Close to the defeat of the Furies and finally, close to the freedom he so desperately sought. The sooner we get past Delos, the happier I'll be. They say it is cursed. Too bad we can't sail south of Delos. They say the great Archimedes built that statue for Apollo. Why do we stop at this cursed island? He's gone. Let us leave this wretched place. Quickly, before we are cursed too! You leave an army in disarray. Return to us, General. Lead us to victory. You do not exist. You are of my mind. Return to your roots. Return to who you are, Spartan. <laughs> we only need to bring you home. My home is in Sparta! Sister, show him what Sparta does to a traitor!
Enough! It is time, Kratos. Return to your rightful place. Perhaps, if you serve your purpose well, you will even end up on Olympus one day. I will never serve Ares again! <laughs> Your methods fail us, McGill. I will take care of him. You will return. Death first. I should have done this a long time ago. Orcos! This is what you align with, Spartan? This time, you will fail. What have you done? You pathetic weakling! Find them! You will never reach the Lantern, Spartan! You will never reach the eyes now that my mothers know you are after them. This power helped me escape Hecatonchires. And what will happen to you? If you do not succeed, my fate is sealed regardless. Electo has destroyed the only path that leads to the Lantern. Before I could have told you how to get to it, but... But now you will need to find a new way. Not much further now, Spartan. Inside there are the Eyes of Truth. The very same eyes my mother's ruthlessly pulled from Aletheia. When I learned of the plot between my parents to overthrow Olympus, I could not believe Aletheia's words. Then she showed me the truth. That the god of war would bring down the very walls of Olympus. I knew I must stop them. Aletheia and I sought to warn Zeus. But when Ares learned of our attempt, he sent my mothers after us. The eyes were brutally ripped from my beloved. She became a prisoner in her own temple. Ares and my mothers knew that if the Eyes of Truth were hidden, then their wicked plot would not be revealed. Then soon they would reign over the gods themselves. To keep their plan in motion, they need you back, Spot. They will stop at nothing until you return to Lord Ares. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. I know you will set things right. I'm sorry, Spartan. When I learned that my mothers were close, I came to what- We have special plans for you, my son. All this effort, and you still fail. Sisters, we will break him within the walls of Hecatonchires. Kratos found himself defeated, 
and this time no Olympian would come to his aid. Satisfied, the sisters returned home with their prize. Within the walls of their prison, they would delve into the broken warrior's soul and entice Kratos back to his place as a servant of Ares. been away far too long. You can see her in the morning. In time, you will forget. All that you have lost can be yours once again. If this is what keeps you in service to Lord Ares, then this is what you shall have. It... It is not real! I can be your reality. The hard part is over, Spartan. You have committed the ultimate sacrifice. Offer yourself to us completely, and you shall live in blissful illusion. Never. Then let death be your reality! What is the meaning of this? You have made a poor choice, Spartan. A simple trinket will not defeat our sister. 
You defy me? You are but a mortal.
name Sparta, Oathbreaker! Called a Spartan. I lost everything because of you. You think you want truth? But truth will only bring you pain! My death will not free you from this madness! I would not have been strong enough to choose your path, Spartan. Orcos. I would have taken what my mother's offered. I would rather live in truth. I fear you may come to regret those words. Lord Ares still holds your bond. This cannot be. Before you killed them, my mother's once again made me your oath keeper. For you to be free, I must die by your hand. I do not understand. If you do not release me, my father will retain power over you. But even worse, I will live in eternal torture. I have spilled enough innocent blood. There is no other way, Spartan. Destroy the oath. Kill Ares. Have your revenge. I was never the warrior my father wanted me to be. Please. All I ask. Give me an honorable death. With the death of Orcos, the blood oath to Ares was finally broken, and the painful truth rushed back to Kratos' mind. The truth of the murder he committed, the slaughter of his wife and child, the carnage forged from his relentless ambition, surfaced in perfect clarity, and became the visions that would haunt him all of his days.
now free of the Fury's madness, but still tortured by the truth of his past. Kratos left the only home he'd ever known, and set out to undo all that he had wanted.